Oke, tes Sinkro Oke, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh <coughs> So, today we're going to uh, do the decryption part Because we already done the encryption in the previous video So, before we get into it How about uh, overview our source code? As you can see, we did that in our first case, which is the encryption algorithm. You, know, you get the uh, nested loop, you get the uh, if statements here, you get the assignment to the final cipher. We use. Uh, I mean, we chop the uh, user input. Now, let's compile our latest source code. <coughs> JFAC, the name of the file. Java to run it. The model file without the Java extension. So, let's see if I type this is an this is no let's say this message is encrypted <coughs> uh, so you can see we fix the uh, space issues right here hmm? so that's the uh, progress that's the latest progress and now we're going to do the decryption part for this the uh, principle is the same as the encryption so we can just uh, reverse the code from this first case so it will make much more easier so we can just copy this Instead of input your plain text, let's go with input your cipher text. You know, because it's already encrypted. Uh, and then we oh wait. Oh, so we have to declare the variable first. Let's say user input two. Uh, so now user input two can get the user input on the description methods. <coughs> oh, <laughs> my bad, dude. Next line, semicolon, and now we can chop that with char. Let's name it char cipher text because in the encryption we use the char plain text. So it's just the similarity, similarity, similarity. Is that the word? User input two. Remember, it's not one. Two char array. Semicolon. And the uh, let's go with final plane because from the encrypted into plane. On the context of encryption, it's from the plane into a cipher, so it's kind of uh, vice versa, right? Let's align this new char, and the length of the index is the same as the uh, user input, which we're going to use the char cipher text dot length. So it will give us the same index length to the uh, final plane, right? That's the idea. So now I can see we enter the uh, loop statement. So let's just do that for integer i. As you can see. 
I I can use the variable although it have the same name right in this case it works because it is out of scope so this variable and this variable is actually different but in the same name you know so if my name is James then my neighbor's name is also James I mean we're both James but we're not the same person right is that the uh, good illustration that's the long of the loop will be the length of the uh, ciphertext dot length semicolon i plus plus so now we can use the uh, if statement to get the uh, space character right because we want the space character into the plain text just like the encryption so if the user input have uh, space character let's input that into our final plane we can do this or we can do this which more likely to be a dynamic code now let's, let's, let's just use that we use the i so let me highlight this first so you can see the changes uh, the final cipher will be assigned to the space character since it does the uh, if statement so, oh it should be char cipher wait okay okay now we're, now we're good right now for the second loop let's use the same variable m m <coughs> And now we use the uh, library of the decryption, which is Charlie Deck. You can just copy this. Okay, that's the wrong copy. It should be Control C. <laughs> My bad did dot length and M plus plus curly bracket. So now we can match the user input with the uh, library. Let's go with char ciphertext index i is it equals to uh, char lib deck. Remember we use the deck, the n index. If it yes, let's go with the final plane i charlip deck m plus 3 notice that we use the m plus 3 not m minus 1 because we already uh, reverse the library right so in the encryption it's from a b c to z with bonus three characters right a b c and for the decryption is z y x until the CBA and another bonus character is uh, ZYX you know so we take the uh, three first character from the beginning no it is always okay so don't forget to break or else it will mess your code you know what let's just how about we don't use the break you know let's see what's going on uh, let me clear that let me compile this first to check the uh, 
syntax error cipher so okay so now we get something not a statement we uh, what, yeah 57 which is here oh we only need one voice okay so now we're good let's go with the java caesar uh first we need to encrypt our plain text so we can see the result right let's go with this message is encrypted okay so what you want to do is actually copy this and run the code again but let's choose the uh, the crypt method right because we want to see the real uh, plain text let's go copy this enter okay <laughs> so we haven't <laughs> uh, print the final result unfortunately so just let me copy this Plotry encryption. How about Plotry decryption? Ooh! Instead of using final cipher, we go with the final plane. And you know, and we can use the uh, C variable again because it is out of scope. Oh! Uh, compile. Run. Uh, this is no this message is encrypted and then with the decrypt let's go with this okay so you you see when we wanted to uh, print it get the uh, array index out of bound so what you want to do is use the brick statement and hopefully it sh should be good to go because the if you're not the brick even if the uh, uh, the if statement yes the if statement is correct the iteration we will always do until it's get the last character which is not what we want so what we want is each character have their own loop so that's why if it match you just want to uh, break it <coughs> to get the another character uh, the loop for itself let's compile this first oh, let's see uh, this message is en encrypted you know I'm I'm already got the uh, paste I mean the copy of it if you haven't let's just copy this we just do the grip control shift V for me and we get the result which is cool which is cool and that's about it and you know let me uh, clear this up a bit wait how about cipher text is too high for me uh, let's do let's let's do another example, right? Let's go with uh, to, Toshiba uh, uh, Ryu. Ooh, we get this uh, funny string. Just copy that. Render decryption, and we we get the uh, Toshiba Ryu. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the uh, you know on the same alignment actually. 
I want all the alignment is actually fit perfectly. Did I save that? Uh, I haven't uh, compiled. Okay. Uh, let's try another example, right? Let's go with. Hmm. It's too. No. We, we don't. We can't use the uh, number. Let's go with. It's 2 pm. You can see that there is a three space character. The first one, the second one, and the number itself because we don't put the uh, <coughs> number library on it. Okay. And you can put uh, the number for yourself too. You know, feel free, man. Feel free. Uh, let's go with it's too late by the okay this is our final example uh, let's just paste this funny string okay we get the <laughs> nice alignment right now mm -hmm. very good now the funny part about decryption is I mean the encryption and decryption you can do this uh, more than one iteration so uh, maybe you have how of it you know a uh, 64 bit encryption what it means that First, you have the first encryption, and then you go with the second. So, the encryption itself will iterate into 64. So, you have the uh, combination of two exponent 64, which is more than a million. You know, quick math. So, let's just do that. Just delete this. Let's uh, so let's do that. Uh, this is this yummy yum yum <laughs> meme. Just copy this. So instead of using the decrypt, we can just use the encryption because we want the encryption to be encrypted again so therefore the uh, message will be more secure oh you know you know SSS let me encrypt this one more time now we're going to decrypt this oh that's my bad let me just copy this. Yep. Now we're going to decrypt. Uh, boom. Ooh. As you can see, the progress. Hmm. Okay. Copy this. Run it again. Decrypt. Ooh. We get the same funny string. Hmm. Coincidence. Hmm. I don't think so, might. And the last decryption should be the plain text, <coughs> which is this is yum yum yum. So that's about it. And <laughs> uh, this is the uh, whole code for the second. Uh, no, it's the third episode, right? The third episode. That's about it. And this is the first one. So, let's talk about the uh, next video. So, in, in the next video, we're going to use the uh, file text as the library. Ooh. And maybe you want to use the library a number? Well, guess what? Alphabet 
plus member plus special character Ooh. yeah I guess that's about it <laughs> that's the refining part oh and yeah mice ooey oh woo and we're going to fix the user interface that's pretty much it and thank you for watching and it's good to help and yeah see you next time boys